Howdy y'all, welcome back to my RB14A build down here in Austin, Texas. Today I'm working on the fairing tips for the horizontal stabilizer. Uh, deviated from the way the plants had to do it, I'm using the actual elevators to mark the fairing tips so I know exactly where they curve. The plants don't really have a good way of showing that curve, so I thought I'd show you how I did it. There you can see the line of the curve that's actually on the elevator. So I drew a do the line based on having the, the elevator come up against the fairing tip and just drew the line. Now I'm just filing down to that line. That gives me the curve. I know where the curve's at. And then you can see here, just taking a file, working it down. Uh, and then I'll put the fairing tip on and off, uh, checking for fit. Here I'm just going to go with it, basically the tip flush with the elevator. Uh, I'm not at this point setting up for the 1 8 inch gap. I'll show you how I do that later in the video. So, put the fairing tip on, checking for interference, and, and marking the tip again, and filing down to my new mark. I keep doing this until I just get the, the elevator to clear the fairing. Just continuing to work, kind of moving the elevator back and forth, seeing where it hits and then filing off the interference. There you can see I'm starting to get it to, to just clear. All right, so now you can see that I have the elevators can freely move without hitting the fairing tip on the bottom half. So now I take the fairing off and move the elevator so that it's above the fairing tip. Fairing tip back on. Lower the elevator and remark my lines. And start filing again. You know, Lowering the elevator every time just to see where I'm at. And just filing away the interference. And then I can kind of mark it with blue line, file down to the blue line, check for interference. It's not too bad. You can see I'm getting pretty close. Each time the elevator is able to go a little bit further. I'm just kind of working from the inside towards the outside. Continuing to mark, continuing to file down to the, to the new mark. Until my, basically, the width of the Sharpie tip kind of fits in between the fairing and the elevator. There you go, all nice and smooth and just minimal clearance. And see here, it just clears. Perfectly shaped to the shape of the elevator. So now that that's done, I take my calipers, set it for the eighth of an inch gap and since I'm just clear, if I just score along there, now I know exactly what an eighth inch back from the elevator is, right? Because you have to hit a minimum of one eighth inch, so even if I go a little bit over, that's fine. Don't want to go a lot, don't want a ridiculously large gap. But you can see here now, I'm going to be one eighth inch back from the edge of the elevator, because I went to just barely clearing. So now that that's all marked up, take off the fairing, score the other side, same idea. Check the clearances. And then start filing again. Down to my new lines.
Then once I get it filed down the line, put the fairing tip on. Yeah, I can see just a little bit of line. Just kind of doing some final shaping so it follows it. Look at that one nice one eight inch thick gap starting to form. There you go, one eighth inch. Isn't she gorgeous? Take it off. I've got lines on the other side. Start following down that line on the, that one eighth inch line on the other side. Looking from underneath, working it from underneath. That's the only bad problem is hate going underneath and looking up. Next thing will be to uh, final drill to, to 30 and get the fiberglass on there and rivet it into place. Thanks y'all, bye.